Okay, not even 24 hours ago, I was sitting on the couch watching Clayton Chick Outdoors. And I came across something in his shanty that blew my mind. I just put it on the screen for you right there. I need one of these in my shanty. So what this is, it's a little table. And I don't know much more description of that. But I know that it's a little table that hooks on the, on the wall of your hub shanty. And I need one. So for the last less than 24 hours, I've been just obsessing over building it, trying to figure out little ways and things to do to make it a little different than what I saw he had. Wanted to figure out the, you know what? Let's just get to it. Let's get busted. And the first thing that I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to figure out how big I'm gonna need it. And I'm gonna figure out all of those kind of things. And to do that, I'm gonna need my shanty, which is right there. And to do that, I'm gonna need to open it in my shop. So. There goes the floor space. Well, I'm going to work around it. Let's go inside and see what I need to do for measuring. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do now is I got the seat that I actually use for fishing in here. So that's gonna give me my level I'm gonna sit at. Now I wanna see where I'm, this thing's gonna sit at. So according to the video and the pictures that I can get from the video, is it looks like this thing just hooks to the back of these poles and that's how it stabilizes. Um, I have some different ideas on how I'm going to actually stabilize it. We're going to see how it actually sits. But uh, So I want to get my measurement on where it's going to be at. So I want it to kind of be about right in here. I think that would be a good spot, a good usable height. So I'm going to cut a board, we'll say 24. So we'll say 2 feet. And then I want it to stick out from the back 10 inches. So I'm going to cut a, cut a board at 24 by 10. And then we'll rock and roll from there. But... As it's going to sit about here. I think that'll give me a good, a good size table. I apologize for the crappy lighting in here, but this is what we have. So because of the fact that this wall is convex, concaved, whatever you want, it's bubbled out. Um, I want the shelf to kind of sit up into it, not sit way off of it. So uh, I've actually, you're not going to be able to see it. Maybe. I marked the center of my board. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to match the center of my board up to this nut that is on the center of the wall where it bumps out the farthest. I'm going to measure that to see what distance this board sits away from there. So you line that up. So now we're centered with everything. And I'm just going to measure that out. And you're at two inches. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in two inches on each side here and over here and then I'm going to rip up into that center point that I already have and that should give me that kind of V convex cotton whatever shape to fit beautifully in the wall in theory. So after screwing around for quite a little while, I finally came up with a shape that seems to work as good as I figured that it was going to work. <clears throat> so you're just going to slide it down in there. Now, you notice that it wants to do this. I had a feeling, I don't know how he got this to stabilize. I don't know if this was a lot thicker, but I predicted this to happen. So I had a combatant for it. Bungee cord. So... It works great. And you're not going to want a ton of weight on this shelf anyway because of the fact that it is just a hub wall. But the spongy cord is going to work really well. And it doesn't, like, like yeah, if you bait it around, it's going to fall off. But for what you're going to put on it, it's going to work. Like, this is going to be sweet. So now I'm just going to shape it out. And I'm going to route it out some little trinket areas that I'm going to want for maybe my bait puck or a drink, my phone to sit on. Um, I'm going to add a couple rod holders in it. So now we're going to shape it make it exactly what I want. But this shape seems to have worked. So let me just kind of run you through. Basically, it's a little tiny crab. So this end actually does sit in a little bit more. My idea on using the convexational thing of the wall, measuring it, 
got me pretty close and then you just do really round off your edges to match that taper this down and then make your little claws that kind of hook on in there one thing i'm going to want to do is i don't want any sharp little edges like this corner or maybe even like this corner i don't want any sharp around being around the fabric of the shiny so what i'm going to do is i'm going to round over all of this let's just sit, get to routering and cutting and doing cool stuff Here's the idea on what I'm going to recess and cut out here. So I've got a cup holder here and a cup holder here. Perfect size for cans because mostly I'm going to drink energy drinks or cans of pop. Or, I mean, this is about the size of water. So if I'm going to be crazy and drink water, I'll be set there. Uh, this is an in inlay for my phone. And then as you see, I've got some finger holders to come in and out. And I got these little tiny notches right here. Now these notches are actually going to be for the bungee cords when they come down something to sit in so they won't move all around. I'm going to notch those out. But I'm going to inlay these probably pretty close to almost all the way through with just enough that I have enough material underneath that it'll be nice and safe. So to recess this in, I'm going to actually go in two different passes because I don't want to like go crazy digging off and removing an insane amount of material at first. And I'm using, it looks like a half inch. Don't know what you want to call that bit. I'm going to call it a gouging bit because I don't know what it's really called. I'm going to use that. I'm going to do it. Like I said, I'm only going to go about halfway the first time. Then I'll finish it off. Cause I want it, I want this thing to be deep enough that it will hold things, but not too deep that I go all the way through. So let's get dusty. Oh, probably should have went with three passes instead of two because the second pass was really hard and took off a lot of material and I burned a little bit and it stinks a little bit and I am fully covered in man glitter. So here you go. There's where it's going to look like. I'll clean it up, but uh, now all I do is I'm going to round over all of the everything. Just round over with a round over bit everything. Give it a really nice sand and then I think we're about ready to be done with this thing. And I got to sneeze really hard because I got a lot of sodas in my nose. All right, this thing is awesome. So I know it's basically this video is just you basically watching me take a board and shape it and cut it and route it because that's all this is. That's how simple this sweet shelf is. So uh, let us let me talk to you about the shelf a little bit. So I got my, my battery right here for my light. I finally went out and got the shiny light. Um, if you're wondering how I ran the light in here, uh, I did a video last year on my ice fishing sled. Uh, I added a light on there. And in that video, I talk about the light that I use in the shanty because it's pretty sweet. It runs off a Milwaukee battery, which is what I use to power my auger, which is what I use to put my anchors in for the shanty. And it's got a little switch. It's an LED light. I've had it on in the house for hours on just a small 3.0 battery. It's great. Anyways, so I got the battery up here, which is great because it used to be in the little pockets right here. And that would take up all my storage. Um, I got a spot for your phone to recess in so your phone isn't going to slide all over the place. You don't have to keep it in your chest pocket and have to worry about it falling out. You can also keep it up there when you want to listen to music. Uh, I do have my drink up here, which is, you know, it's not going to fall all over the place. And I got a spot for four poles. Now, the thing with the four poles thing is I don't want to have a pole right here because it's in my face. You can, I don't know if you can see from the light. So I'll put it right here. No problems there. And then I, what, what, what I'll do is if I'm not fishing that side, I'll have them over here or whatever. It's symmetrical so I can fish either side of it. So this thing is going to be awesome. I cannot wait to use it on the ice. All right, now that the project is complete, let's talk about it. Where is it, you may ask? Well, it's right in the shanty bag where it fits and will store beautifully and you don't have to worry about losing it. 
And then you just wrap that bungee cord around it so it all stays together. Now that is something that I did not anticipate working out this well. Now I used a half inch piece of plywood for this. Again, it's 24 by 10 uh, and it works beautifully. It looks beautiful. I got that oil-based paint on there. I did an oil-based paint to give me that shine to make that sticker right here really nicely. But mostly because I feel like a water-based paint is going to seal the wood a lot better than a water-based paint. So, because it's going to get wet, let's face it, let's be honest. Um, if you're going to make one of these, again, rounding over everything is absolutely key, I think, because you don't want any jagged edges. You know, you don't want to leave these all jagged and then have them rubbing up against that fabric of your shanty and then have the wind blowing on it all day. I feel like that could just cause some problems with that fabric, and we don't want that. Shanties are expensive, so... Do that, make sure that you don't have any sharp edges on this thing, but seriously, like this, that simple, but so, so awesomely effective. I keep saying I'm excited. I'm super excited to use this this year. We're finally forming ice here, and I can finally get out there and do it. Um, so speaking of that, be safe out there this year on the ice. Have fun. Build one of these, and let me know how you like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.